so in this video we are going to see how does this stabilizer link is has been designed okay there are two parts of the stabilizer link one is attached to the pivot plate and one is attached to the stabilizer arm so we do first the uh, stabilizer link attached to the pivot plate so we open so this is the design of the stabilizer link attached to the pivot plate so let's see what is the first sketch so first sketch is only a ball so meaning the sketch is only a half circle okay normal two so the dimension of this half circle is 20 mm all right so you draw a circle and then you draw a line and then you're going to trim one side okay so after that you're going to do the revolve push all right selecting this line for the axis of revolution so then you have the ball so the next is the extrude boost okay for the shape of the red okay so how it is sketch we see the sketch so it is a sketch on the same plane all right so it's a 10 mm the diameter of the circle is 10 mm and then it is extruded both by 70 mm so the length of the red is 70 mm from the point of origin okay close so after that there is extrude cut so he cut this hole so what is this sketch all right so it's cut on this space so to sketch on this space you are going to do right click and sketch all right so the diameter of the hole is 8 mm and then extruded cut by how deep it is cut by 30 mm so extrude cut so after that he make a sweep making the thread all right how does the thread is designed okay we have two sketches one sketch that you have to do is this sketch all right normal two so you draw a line from the edge of the circle using uh, the best plane so it means this is front plane you use front plane okay so the length of the line is 30 mm and then after that you close the sketch and then you're going to sketch another the profile of the thread so edit sketch so it's still on the front line front plane you close the sketch and open another sketch on the front plane so you're going to draw a construction line so the distance of the construction line is 4 mm so there is a construction line on this edge okay so 4 mm so on that 4 mm you're going to draw the profile of the thread so the profile of the thread we got a point four on watch so better if you do like this you're going to make it uh mirror pictures how to do okay let's see this is the the length is 0.8 all right the height is 0.6 and 0.2 on the tip all right we can trim and redo the drawing okay all right to, re to redo the drawing you're going to make one horizontal line all right and then one here and then one horizontal line all right and then you connect this two line with a center line so it means this should be vertical all right okay 
so we go smart dimension so this should be 0 0.4 0 0.4 mm all right and the other one oh, this we connect this line and this point we're going to merge them escape 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 all right i want this and this line to be merged okay so we are going check to move this diagonal line on this side all right so we can make the smart dimension here of 0.1 because the total is 0.2 all right and the height from this line is 0.6 okay so after that we mirror so use this mirror all right select this line select this line and select this line so mirror about select the construction line so now you will have already 0 0.4 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 plus the height of 0.6 and then after that we close the sketch all right so after closing sketch we are going to sweep so sketch 6 this is our sketch 6 it's the profile okay and then sketch pipe okay it's the horizontal line that we drew okay that's the path but on this profile we have to follow path and then here we have to select specify twist value all right in here we have to change the degree into revolutions so the number of revolution depending on the thread you can see the gap between thread so once it is okay this is the gap meaning this should be equivalent to this tip of the thread so once done okay check so we got already a traded uh, surface so after that we are going to cut this edge so how to cut all right sketch we edit the sketch so we sketch on the base of the rod okay after sketching we just right click sketch and convert entity all right close so example of the sketch is like this only okay you sketch and then convert entity then you have already the circle all right okay we delete because we don't need close so once that one it is extruded cut by one mm so it's cut by one mm so that the finishing of the thread will be okay so done so after that we do some pilleting all right so we pilet the tip the pilet is 0.1 mm okay so after that we revolve cut for this uh, hole so the sketch is again it is a half circle normal to so the diameter of the circle is uh, 15 mm so the plane that is used is the top plane okay so top plane draw a circle just inside should be concentric with the uh, round shape of our uh, stabilizer link you cut half and then you revolve base once you cut you go on extrude cut we cut this area so how it is done uh, sketch so he cut the center line so it means you do only draw one box above and then later you mirror okay we can delete this area below you can trim all right you see stream now we can mirror mirror entities you mirror this box then mirror about the center line okay and then check 
so that's the top box then we go extrude cut so on extrude cut we draw through all both so that he will cut all the way into direction all right check okay so that's it on the stabilizer link connected to the pipe wood.